Hello and welcome to today's webinar. It's great to have you all here today to learn more about the new feature highlights for October 2023. As always, we're just going to wait a couple of minutes. We do have uh, some big numbers today, so we'll, we'll wait a couple of minutes just to make sure everyone's coming in. In the meantime, as always as well, I just want to post a little poll to see what you are interested in seeing today. It is helpful um, just when going through to see what everyone is, is looking to go through in a bit more detail. Cool. So it's the question is just what are you most excited to see today? We have some options. We have the onboarding flow, which has already uh, been very popular. We have the progress photo updates, the form upgrades, and then what's to come to. Uh, we always go through a sneak peek at the end of, of a few features that we're working on at the moment. And there's some really good ones there too. Perfect. We do want to make it as interactive as possible. So if you do have any questions, um, if, if you can get involved in the polls, that would be really, really good. Amazing. The onboarding flow seems like the, the most interesting one. It probably is our biggest release that I'm going to go through today. And I'm excited to share more about that too. Perfect. We'll just wait another minute or so. Sorry, Rachel, the, the polls are for the webinar, so it's it's not in Everfit at the moment, but that's that's a nice idea that I can take to the team. Amazing. So I'm, I'm just going to get started. I want to say welcome everybody to today's webinar. It's great to have you here today. I did mention last time that we're going to be rolling out more new feature webinars. Um, so they'll be coming coming even, even more often as we continue to build um, leading up to the new year. A quick introduction to myself in case you don't know me already. So I'm Sam and my role at Everfit is, is the product specialist. So showing people how they can use the platform. A quick overview of what we're going to go through today. So I'm going to introduce the new features to you. Um, so what we've been building, you may have seen a few of them already, um, but there's a couple that are. Uh, more new that we can go through today. I'm then going to dive onto the web platform and show you where you can find those features and how you would use them and set them up. And then we'll finish off with a QA and a and then I'll, fin I'll finalize the webinar with some additional features that we're currently working on um, at the moment. Perfect. So the first feature that I just want to go through is the onboarding flow. So what the onboarding flow allows you to do is automate the onboarding process even more and make a really smooth journey for your clients. So you'll be able to see slightly here what the funnel looks like. So the inf what, what would happen is when a client first logs in, they can go through this funnel where they get an onboarding form. It could be a park you form. They can get an onboarding message. And then they can also go through certain training asset enrollments. And then that's a successful onboarding process for a client. So you'll be able to, you, you may currently use our automations, the payment system, the products that are connected to it, the auto flow as well. The onboarding flow is going to add to that process and make it even more seamless and, and enjoyable for your clients to um, go through the process of when they first join the app. Some of the values of the onboarding flow, so two that I like to put together quite a lot. So the efficiency and the scalability, the fact you are saving time with onboarding rather than scheduling those forms to go out, uh, building those forms each time to send through to clients. You can just streamline that whole process. Once a client comes in, they'll go through this flow and you know they're going to be looked after. The next one is the personalization. So the fact you can personalize that onboarding flow and have messages with magic variables in there saying hi first name, it gives that client a great uh, first impression of using the app and working with you as a coach. Again, enhance client engagement. So they'll have those um, personal touch points that they get at the beginning, which is what everyone needs when they first join a new system. Um, so you'll be able to keep those clients engaged from the moment they join. And I'm sure you'll be able to continue that engagement straight after that onboarding flow finishes too. The final piece of so the compliance and safety. Um, so this is a big one that we wanted to focus on with these um, with this feature. So the fact you can have Park U forms going out from day one to, to promote a safer training environment. 
Cool. Guys, just to let you know, we will have a little break for Q&A at the end. It's going to be difficult to, to go through the questions whilst we go through. So if you can save those questions a little bit, um, that will be really great. Thank you very much. So the next feature is the progress photo improvements. So one improvement that we've added is the fact that you can add body fat percentage to a photo. So you'll be able to see progress over time. Once their body fat is, is improving or going less, you'll be able to see that based on the timeline um, on those photos really clearly. The next one is the progress photo management. So you'll be, we actually have a comparison mode now that you can have two progress photos together. You'll be able to see um, whether they've made progress, whether they haven't. We've also got the ability to tag those progress photos now, which is a feature that I've been I've had requested quite a few times. Um, so you'll be able to uh, tag them for back, left, right, and then filter down based off those tags. Some form and questionnaire updates. So we've added the ability to add images and text. So there's, there's some unique, unique ways I've already seen how people are using these. So having photos and then questions after those. Is, is one way, but also just using those images to, to share certain content um, for your clients during those forms to make it a bit more of an interactive and visual process. Um, it, it just adds a really nice option there. Saving the progress photos for forms. So this is a client-based feature, so we won't be going into it in too much detail on the web platform, um, but your clients will be able to save their progress whilst they're going through forms. So if they have a quick um, a bit of time in the morning that they can go through half of the form, but can't complete it all, they'll be able to save that and go back and complete it later on in that day. Payment and packages. So another feature that we're always looking to improve and always building upon. So we have new package settings that will be really helpful. So one is automatically reactivating archived clients. So if someone does leave and then they come back, they can automatically be reactivated based on the, pay the payment of that package. The next one is restricting clients to sign up for a trial once. So this is quite an obvious one that we, we've looked to improve where clients can only go, go through the trial once if you turn that setting on. And then also an overdue payment reminder. Um, so your clients will be able to be reminded if they haven't been able to make a payment and you can choose whether that's three days after or five days after two. Another additional, additional setting is the ability to recharge failed invoices after a trial package. So you'll be able to manually retry, retry payments um, I believe it's up to once every 24 hours, uh, but you'll be able to do that yourself rather than just having that payment failed and losing out on a potential customer. Um, if they had like the wrong card set up or didn't have enough funds in their accounts for that payment. A big, a big team management uh, setting that we've improved is the ability to assign a coach when inviting a client. So you as an admin or a workspace owner can now add the coach that you want that client to be assigned to from day one. So a feature that definitely makes sense, especially for those bigger teams, when you want a client to go straight through to be managed by a specific coach, that will be seamless. Um, you can just add that client straight in and then the coach will be able to take over straight away. Then giving a high five to a meal post on a food journal. Again, we're just always trying to save you time and um, just to give your clients some acknowledgement of the meals they're making. Uh, you can send that high five really quickly there too. Perfect. So I hope that was a helpful overview of some of the new stuff that we've been building. As I mentioned, you may have seen some of that already, um, but I'm going to just dive deeper into where you can find those features. Uh, the, the onboarding flow is still in testing, but will be released very soon. I can share with you what that's going to look like today, um, but it will be available on your platform. I'd, I'd like to hope this week or next week, uh, we're hoping to release that. So I'll start off with the big one, the onboarding flow. So where you'll be able to find that is in the automation page. So we've now changed this from auto flow to automation. The onboarding flow will be available in our, all of our paid packages. It's just you won't have this auto flow option if you don't have the auto flow add-on. So when you're building the onboarding flow out, you have different options. So you can turn on and turn off these different features. You'll be able to have a form that they go into from day one. So at the moment, we only have two options for forms with some customization. This is feedback that we got from beta testers, and we are looking to improve that further. But you can have two forms getting general information or having that PARQ medical history form that they can complete straight away. The next one is the onboarding messaging. So you can add your own messaging here. You can use your 
the magic variables that we like to, to give you options to use as well. So the first name, last name, full name, but you'll be able to customize that first message that will go straight into the inbox from the moment they sign up. Assignments, so you'll be able to assign programs that they go straight into. So if you do use any template programs, if you have something running on a, a subscription where they're just getting workouts each day, you can build that into the flow. The forums, so you can get them straight into a community from the onboarding flow, which is a nice touch. And then the final piece is the auto flow. So if you have an ongoing subscription, you just want to run straight away or a two week onboarding auto flow where you're firing them with information, and then you can build that into this onboarding flow too. You won't just have to do that in the products. It'll just trigger straight away once they're added into the system. A big advantage of the onboarding flow that you may not have envisioned just yet. So if you don't use Everfit's payment system, it does automate the onboarding process quite nicely. Um, so our payment system has quite a lot of automation, but this is helping the people who potentially don't use our payment integration to start automating that onboarding um, just as much as as what we can do with the, the payment system too. Amazing, so the next feature, the, the progress photos. So the progress photos have really been leveled up. Um, this was a, a highly requested feature. So just to show you, I didn't want to um, put too many pictures in here to show you, but you'll be able to see uh, the, what this looks like. It has a total new look. You can filter based off the different tags. So it could be front, back, left, right. So this one's been tagged here. You can X that out add a new tag really easily. So management is just so much easier with these progress photos. Editing the weights, the body fat. So you'll be able to add this in here and just save that. And you'll always be able to see it when you're clicking onto that photo. Then the big addition that I like is the compare mode. So if you want to have two lined up against each other, you simply just check the two that you want and you'll be able to see that progress really nicely over time. Whilst we're on the individual client page, I can go through the food journal. So the food journal, little feature of adding a high five, you simply go onto the comments, send that high five, and then your clients will be able to see that you've acknowledged that food without having to send through any heavy text-based messaging. Assigning a coach. So whilst we're on this client page too, it's really simple to now assign a coach. You just go assign to, choose the coach that you want, and then they will automatically be assigned to coach that client. So they'll get full access straight away as an admin or an owner. Of course, you'll still get access to be able to see how that, how that client is getting on. The form improvements. So again, where you find the forms is in the form library here. You can click onto a specific form. I've got an image just to show you what this could potentially look like. So you can make it really interactive. Uh, you can have the image first with further questions underneath, whether it's like a form check photo, you could say where you're, where are you going wrong here? So you can be really creative with how you actually set this up. The payment system. So the payment system where you can find those additional settings is when you go into packages, you can click onto a specific package, go onto settings, and you'll see that we have quite a lot of settings. If you use the payment system pretty early on, we didn't have too many settings, but now we're really building this out. Um, so we're trying to automate that process even more. So sending emails after three days, five days, if an invoice is unpaid, um, which is a really nice touch just to remind your clients. You'll also be able to um, allow reactivate clients when they're archived. And then the final one is restrict one client, um, re restrict a client to only be able to sign up to a trial once. Perfect. So that there are the additional features that we haven't gone through, which is the saving progress in a form that is really simple on the client side. They can just um, go X out the form and it will say save progress and they can simply click onto that button. Perfect. So, well, a big reason why a lot of you are here is to, to find out about the new features. So I just want to say we've had the q and I just want to let you know what those features are. Um, so there's just a few that I'm going to share today. What I can let you know is that we're working on a lot at the moment. So there's some huge upgrades that we're making and some really exciting features. Um, but here's just a few that we're working on that we know will uh, be really helpful for all of you. So the first one is not notification dashboard. So this is some feedback that we've been getting that, note that you want notifications to be handled even easier. Um, so we're building out a complete new dashboard that's going to save you so much time. Um, so that's a big one when working through a large number, a large number of clients, you'll be able to just go through that dashboard really simply. 
The next one is workout analytics. So we're giving you more analytics based on workout completion for all clients. And you'll also be able, also be able to easily send them a reminder message. So just adding more automation into this process too. And the final one, I do believe I shared this last time on the webinar, but the Zapier integration, we are still working towards this. The Zapier integration will work really nice with the onboarding flow too. So if you're currently using a payment system uh, that isn't Everfits, you, you will get those triggers for Zapier um, that you can set up too. And then the onboarding flow is, is a great option if you wanted to automate the whole onboarding process through an external system. It's making it possible through, through that Zapier integration. Amazing. So if there's no more questions, I'll wait if there's, there's any final questions on those, on those new features. But if that's everything, I just want to say thank you very much, everyone, for turning up. The numbers today uh, for sign up was it was crazy, but it's, it's amazing to hear that these webinars are enjoyed. Um, and we love sharing the new features that we're building out for, for you as well. If you have any questions, we have the support. I have the support email there. Again, you can send over an email to me. So I'll add in my email. As there's a little request for that too. So it's just Sam Pilkington at everfit.io. I do help that I do hope this webinar is helpful and gets you off to a good start with those new features. We are developing at a really great rate, and you'll be seeing more and more exciting stuff coming out that I'm so excited to let you know about on the, on the next webinar. So have a great day, everyone, and I hope to speak to you all soon. One final question. Are you are you considering creating a feature for period per, periodizing training programs so that one can plan ahead? So, Dadji, if you want to get in touch with me, I'll, I'll look into that in more detail. I, I just probably need a bit more information there too. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.